The difference between hard media and streaming for me isn't it isn't about the things we usually talk about. It isn't cost or convenience. It's about the human factor, the human interaction, the way we experience these two things and the way we choose to engage with them. With hard media, I mean, it's a very conscious choice to buy an item. An item's going to take up space. It's going to invade your life. It's going to end up on a shelf somewhere. And if it doesn't and you dislike it, you're going to be forced to consciously put that thing in the bin and acknowledge that you've made a mistake and spent money you shouldn't have. It's a very difficult process really to say, I am going to consciously buy this item. And then when you have that item, you want it to have value because it's now a fundamental part of your life. It's, it, it's coming, it's being carried around with you and it's, it's there in front of you. So we spend a lot of time contemplating whether or not we're going to buy a thing usually. Um, unless you've got very deep wallets and loads of space. Now, in contrast, streaming and subscriptions are almost the opposite because generally they don't take up any physical space, so we, we don't consider them to be a clutter. And because we're paying a fee monthly or however often, the more we get, the better, you know? So we, 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 we seek it out to constantly find things. And if the quality is low quality, We'll just take the best that's there. We'll accept a lower level of quality if what we want isn't there because we've already paid for it. So we sort of have this perception that it's free now and the only way to get our value back is more. It's kind of like an all-you-can-eat buffet where the rounds just keep coming so you just keep eating them. And I think that is a thing that we as a species haven't yet really adapted to. <clears throat> now, I'm not trying to say one's better than the other in this. I'm, I'm more saying that with hard products and purchases, we're pretty up to speed. We understand all the pros and cons, but with the uh, with the, the other sorts of streaming and subscriptions, we don't. You know, we, we'll see, I think, sort of computer game subscriptions, how, how many might have some appropriate thing we can have endless different games, and how many times you download a game, install it, play it for two seconds, throw it away. And what the real cost of that is your time. You know, we don't see that. It's costing you time. Yes, it isn't taking up your space, but it takes up your life. And we're very naive about that. And I, th I think it's a, a thing that really needs addressing. You know, I think we really suffer from it. We get to the end of the day or the end of the week, and we're saying, I haven't had time for my self-care. I haven't had time to deal with things. I've got all these other problems outstanding. Where's my time gone? And a lot of the time, it's it's just little things. It's it's time on Spotify where you you've spent time listening to music you've not really engaged with, or you've sat in front of Netflix flicking through trying to trying to find something to watch. I mean, we've all done it. How many times have we sat in front of the TV and said, oh, "I can't find anything I want to watch," and again, that's a it's a sort of insane behaviour to say, "I'm short on time. I'm going to sit in front of something where I have no idea what I want." And I'm going to try desperately to engage with this low quality, uninteresting content in order to reclaim my value. You know, um, I think we really have to step away from the streaming stuff and sort of say, I'm only going to turn this on when there's something I know I want. There's an interesting series and now I'm going to turn that on. There's a new release of an album I care about. I'm going to add that to my collection and I'm going to spend some time with that. You know, and I think that's the way to get value for money from streaming, not not just saturating yourself in whatever comes forward to, to sort of grab the value of it. And I think we have to return a little to collections. It doesn't have to be hard media that takes up space, but with your streaming and we need collections. And of course, they don't want us to do this because if we start collecting, especially films and movies, we sort of have a phone and say, these are our favourite movies, then after a while, we're going to realise that we're paying month to month for the same old films that we watch again and again. I know there's a little bit of a blowback at the moment against it. With so many TV streaming services, I have heard that some people are sort of hunting out Blu-rays and saying, well, second-hand Blu-ray is 99p right now, so I'm just going to buy a bunch of them, and then I've got them to watch as much as I like. I'm, I'm not sure we're going to go back to that, really. Um, as a model, I'd... I'd I don't see that working. Apart from anything else, they'll want £20 odd for a Blu-ray and we're all not going to pay it. 
But I think, yeah, we, we need better behavior. We're pointing at the children as well, especially and saying, oh, look, these kids, they've got, you know, they're overreacting, too much screen time. It's sort of creating an ADHD-like interaction with them. They're uh, unruly, they're grumpy, they're not behaving right, they're not getting their work done. And I think as adults, we need to look in the mirror too and say, hang fire, aren't we doing that? We're sitting at home moaning that we're getting overweight or unfit. And then we're going back and looking for something to watch and we can't find anything. It, it's We're drawn in the same way to the screen or we're going through the games catalogue and saying, oh, I've played all these, oh, what's new? Oh, I suppose I'll play this funny looking RTS that's not really my thing. I'll see what it's about. Maybe it's good. You know, and I think that's a very unhealthy way to be. You need to engage with media uh, that you are excited to engage with. Um, and the format's irrelevant. It's just... That, you know, it was, it was a lot easier to do this when you had to physically put your hand in your wallet and buy an item that sat on your shelf and screamed at you and said, you have wasted my, you have wasted your money, you know, and you've wasted your time. It's here looking at you. And I think with, yeah, with streaming, it's really easy to say, oh, well, and just constantly forget. Um, yeah, I, th I think that's it, really. Behavioral patterns and a better attitude to this stuff. You know, it's hard. It's hard figuring out how to live in a world that's changing so rapidly from day to day. I don't think any of us keep up with it. Just some of us uh, fall off the surfboard less. <laughs>